Have you ever been out on a nice walk and noticed a cute squirrel eating a pecan and thought, where did he get that pecan? Where does he live? Is he afraid of heights? How big is his family? Does he prefer grasshoppers or berries for dinner? How many squirrels live around here anyway? And what if there aren't enough pecans for all the squirrels? Today, we will be looking at a few different species and the carrying capacity of their environment. The carrying capacity of an environment is the maximum population that environment can sustain long-term with the resources available. Food, water, shelter, and space. Because even though there are tons of resources here, there are limiting factors that are keeping the squirrel population in check. The number of squirrels in this specific area is the population density. It's the number of individuals divided by the size of the area. Squirrels aren't territorial like bears or lions would be, but they do need space for their nests and they do not like other squirrels getting close to their babies. So if nesting space is limited, it could force some squirrels out of this area. You're positioning yourself right over my head and I feel like you're gonna poop in my mouth. <laughs>